energy depression is a bitch that won't stop texting me hey guys welcome back so we're gonna be doing another try and make up um i only have a couple of things that i want to try out that are new and then i just want to use some some stuff that's a favorite some stuff that works and just see what we can kind of come up with but we do have two different things that i want to try out one is from Shop Masse, the other one is from Smashbox Cosmetics because I weirdly, out of nowhere, got a PR package from them and they sent me over two things that I thought was so cool looking. They're on my Instagram um, if you want to check them out, but I'll show you them here too and we're going to try that out. So if you want to see how things go, trying another AOA foundation since this is what the last primer that I tried did. I'm, this is still healing. This is so bad. But if you want to see, then let's go ahead and get into it. I'm first going to go in with this She Glam palette. And this is the Multi Fix Concealer and Color Corrector. I've been using this. Um, I've used it a lot throughout its time. Never thought I would ever use a color corrector. I never really needed it until, you know, mid-30s and I started to be like, yeah, might need it. Might need it. The only thing that sucks is that it doesn't have a green in it. That's the only thing I don't like, but I put this as much as I can over top of all these blemishes that I have and a little underneath my eyes. It's very creamy. It works very well. I love this. I think that the she, the she Glam makeup is completely underrated. A lot of people don't trust it or don't talk about it. I don't know why because it's some of the best makeup I have. Now I totally forgot before I did this to go in my primer. I'm going to go in with the Smashbox primer. This is the oil control. Think, thankfully I don't have any stuff where I need it to be placed so got lucky with that one I guess this is really good at oil control really really good now I want to woo one went flying like a disc frisbee um I want to try the AOA this is what I was waiting on the air cream foundations now, I got three because I didn't know. I got L1 and L2, and then I got M1. M1 is definitely too dark. It's going to be my summer shade, though, because it's not that dark. Um, so, I think that I'm going to probably maybe mix these two and go in with them with a beauty blender because I think that that would probably be the best for this. Um, I did try out the brush that I got with this, the buffing brush. And I definitely have thoughts on it, and we will be discussing it in future videos. But I'm, it's, tell you right now, it's not really, in my opinion, good for this type of foundation. I would say this foundation is extremely full coverage. It is a thick foundation. Um... I like this a lot. It reminds me a lot of the She Glam Balm Foundation. Um, it's a little bit thicker than that. So I would even consider mixing a little bit of face oil with it to, you know, if you have dry skin, to distribute it. Distribute it? Distribute it. Whatever. We know Nikki makes up her own words around here. But it's full coverage and it looks fantastic on the skin. It's got like this almost like natural glowness to it, but it's not like an oily glow. It's just a natural, beautiful glow. And I'm I'm loving it so far. I'm I'm freaking loving it. I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl True Blend. I love this. It's my tried and true. Like this it has a huge doe foot, but it is such a great coverage concealer that I always use this, especially like if I'm off camera and I'm doing my own makeup, this is the concealer that I use. I know CoverGirl has fallen off, you know, out of the radar when it comes to the beauty world, especially online, um, a lot. A lot of their stuff seems to be aimed more at the more mature community 
or it's just the same old, same old, and it just gets a little boring. But this concealer is not something to overlook. It just melts right into the skin while giving you the same coverage that you apply down. So, I mean, complexion complete. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me. This is a fantastic powder. I've almost hit pan on it. I can see the pan circles. Scares me a little bit. But, you know, it's not that expensive. I will be repurchasing. And I just hit pan using it. See? Ah, help. So what videos are you guys intrigued to watch in the beauty community these days? Like... I, when I took a break and I was having all these health issues, I didn't watch anything. It put me in a worse mental state to watch anything because I wanted to be there, I wanted to do things, and I couldn't. So it put me in a bad mind spot to watch. I wouldn't even open the YouTube tab, to be honest. Like, I, I was so messed up. Missed you guys so much. And... So what are, what are the popular videos you guys are liking to watch right now? Leave me a comment and let me know. I'm going to go in with the AOA Slim Brow. As usual. Do my number one hated makeup thing. I can tell you one thing I noticed though coming back. Is there's like no collaborations. No um. Like friendships happening in the community anymore like no one's really collaborating no one's shouting anyone out there's no support from one creator to the other um it seems like everybody's just doing their own thing now um unless they already had formed their clique that you know they stick to and then there it's just the same collaboration with the same like four or five people over and over again so it, it's even worse than it was before with that in regards to the community and that kind of sucks. I'm going to use the NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Gel. I really like this. I think I got it in an influencer box. But it works really great. I mean, you don't even need to draw on your eyes. If you already get your eyebrows done, you don't have to draw on your eyes. If you already get your eyebrows done, then you just got to run this through, um, and voila. Or if you're like me and you accidentally use a brow pencil that may be too light, it will darken it up, fill in any spare spots that you may have in your eyebrows, and it sticks them for real. So I love this. It's really, really good. I'm going to be using a mixture of my AOA Single Shadows and then the What's Up Monsoon palette. I love the Desert Monsoon palette. I love What's Up Beauty. They are expensive, um, but they are worth it. They are a smaller business, but the stuff they make is beyond high-end. So they're so worth it. I have their brush set and I have two of their eyeshadow palettes. And they're magnificent. I'm first going to go into these two brown shades right here. And kind of mix them up for the transition. Get a little brown transition going on here. The AOA Single Shadows are so good. I would equate them to high-end or Morphe shadows. That, that, I mean, they're better than the Morphe shadows. And these are only $1 each. But there's, like, no puffy poof when you touch them. There's no fallout. They blend magnificently. And, of course, they also sell the magnetic palette with the mirror. So... It just makes things so much easier. You can pick out your colors that you want and make your own palette. And to the everyday person who isn't, you know, a makeup lover or collector or influencer, that's all you need is one homemade palette and bam, you are good to go. I'm going to take a smaller blender and go into this more darker 
brown here and build up the outside corner. Such a beautiful shade. Oh, I get so excited, I tell you. Now I'm going to go cut my crease really quick and be right back. Now I want to go into the What's Up, the Desert Moonstone palette. And what I want to do is go in with Desert Rose right here. It's a beautiful pink shade and I want to put that over my cut crease. It's too beautiful not to. It's just so pretty. I'm going to go back in with this shade here. You guys can see it. This shade here and blend it together. on those edges. And then I'm going to take an even smaller blender and I want to go into the What's Up palette and use Canyon here. Very dark. That looks so gorgeous. Ooh, it makes me so excited. I'm going to also use the Glow out of the What's Up Beauty for my highlight on my brow bone. This I can't keep my hands out of this palette. I mean, damn, damn. This palette doesn't come to play, you know? The eyebrow highlight, though. Woohoo! Now I'm just going to put all of those underneath of my eye to mix everything together. And I'm going to use glow that I used on my eyebrow as an inner corner highlight as well. I think this glow is quite the beautiful shade. probably use it as a highlight on the face as well. I'm going to use the Heroin Make. I got this off Amazon. It does not feather. It is matte. It is so good for people with watery eyes. And I'm going to line my top waterline and do a small cat eye. Alright, now I'm going to go in with the AOA Jean eyelashes and I shall return. I think I'm going to go in with this AOL AOL, AOA, I hate when I say AOL, it makes me feel like I'm showing my age so badly, but I'm going to go in with the gel liner in Jellyfish, which is pink, hopefully to match the eyeshadow color. Okay, and now the Smashbox item I wanted to show you guys, it's new to them, it's called their Halo, um, it's a face palette, a Sculpt and Glow face palette, very sleek and small, I love it, comes in different shades, has a mirror. And then you have two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. So I want to go in and try this bronzer and see how how it be, man. I want to see because I have uh, I've I have one, but I've gone through a couple of Smashbox face palettes, and they are amazing, amazing. So I'm gonna go into the bronzer here. I love how natural it is. It allows you to build it up. Oh. Love Smashbox's primers. Or pri Why do I keep saying primers? They're bronzers. Their bronzers are like amazing. Like they nailed it. I love the bronzer. Okay, let's try a blush out here. I'm... I need a smaller blush brush. I can't use my normal one. That one is too big. So I'm going to use an AOA one. I'm going to go and go in for this more peachy-ish one. Nude looking one. So pretty. Oh. Come on. That's gorgeous. All right, and then the highlighter. Let's try out this highlighter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, these are worth grabbing. These are worth grabbing. They are completely worth grabbing. Holy cow. Wow, Smashbox. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay setting spray. Fan it out my lashes. 
I'm going to go in with the Essence Mascara to blend my lashes together. And then for a lippy, I'm going to go in with the AOA, AOA Gel <laughs> Lip Liner in Howdy. And then I'm going to go in with the AOA Fly With Me Lip Crayon in Wispy. Whimsy? Whimsy, I think. And there we have it. Beautiful. I loved everything. There wasn't anything that I didn't like out of this. That AOA foundation. Magnificent. This, if you can afford it, grab it. I will leave everything that I use listed in links down below for you guys. Highly recommend everything that I use. Everything. So if you don't have it, get it. You're going to love it. So it's all down there. If you guys want to see more Get Ready With Me's, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe before you leave. And I, of course, will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.